All right, so we're continuing our journey to understanding better the base 12 version of pi. We're looking at the base 12 dodecagon, and in this video, we're going to be looking at the lines that are formed as we connect the points of the dodecagon, drawing lines through its center. So here is what that looks like, and what we're going to do is look at this triangle that's formed here when we go over 1 and then up 0.7. Okay, so you can see the dimensions here, uh, 1, then up 0 0.7, 0 0.7 squared is 0 0.41, so that length there is the square root of 0 0.41, and the hypotenuse of this triangle is the square root of 1.41. So what we want to do is look and see what's the relationship of this triangle to the special right angle triangle that has the dimensions of a 30 degree angle inside its uh, configuration, you know, 30, 60, 90 degrees. So what we're going to do is look at those two triangles and compare them by creating a third triangle. So here is the 30 degree angle at the top, the, the triangle, the special right triangle with the dimensions of uh, 1 and 2 and the square root of 3 as its base. Here's the triangle that we were just looking at where the base is 1 and the other side of the right angle is 0.7 which is the square root of 0.41 Then its hypotenuse again is the square root of 1.41. So in order to find the dimensions of the special right triangle when the base is 1, we have to divide all three sides by the square root of 3. So the square root of 3 divided by square root of 3 is 1. And now the other side, 1 divided by the square root of 3 in base 12, results in the answer of the square root of 0.4. So we can see right away that the square root of 0.4 is a little bit smaller, or shorter, shorter length than the square root of 1.41. So the triangle that's formed inside the dodecagon is a little bit larger than the special right angle triangle. So what we're going to do now is look at the implications of that back on our uh, dodecagon. I'm going to show you a large scale version now of that relationship. You can see the two uh, lines here, the two um, angles basically. The bottom one is the 30 degree angle and the top one is the line that's formed for the dodecagon. So you can see that there is a definitely a gap there that's getting larger. The reason I showed you this large scale version is there's a, the, these lines are quite close together but now you can see there is a definite gap and we can see that this section of the dodecagon is floating between the 30 and 60 degree lines and you can see here I worked out the square root of 0.4 it starts off 0.6b goes on it's an irrational number but it just gives you an idea of where that line is landing on the you know coordinate plane and what the relationship is between these two angles so I think that's enough for this video. It's very important to see the relationship between the dodecagon and the 30 degree angles and all of the angles that we use to divide the circle ultimately into 360 degrees.